Hi everybody, Kevin Ross, Ross Insurance, sitting here today with Don Sanders. Don is the CEO and Executive Artistic Director of MIFA Victory Theater here in Oyoke. Don, I'm thrilled to be sitting with you and I'm anxious to ask you and to hear what's going on, what's the latest at the Victory Theater? Well, it's a pleasure to be with you, Kevin, on this morning. Uh, the latest is we're very excited about our collaboration with IMG Artists, which is International Management Group Artists. They are the largest uh, management of artists and uh, venues, performing arts venues in the world. Wow. So for example, we can now say Holyoke, Shanghai, <laughs> Singapore, <laughs> yeah, wow. Los Angeles, uh, and what they are going to be doing is they are, the first job they're undertaking is to complete the marketing analysis and the business plan for the theater. Awesome. That is key, which uh, enables us then to go into the capital campaign, Okay. Uh, and enables us to finish the other three points of the five points uh, which are key to putting the ball over the net and the shovel in the ground the for the theater. We're looking at June, if everything goes right, June 14. June 14, it's, shovels yeah, in the ground, sho shovels the in the starts. ground, and then, then it takes about 18 months is what the contractors are saying to two years, you know. To I'm complete the project. To complete the project. Sure. Exactly. Wow. Yes. So, once the project is complete and yes. we have our theater, yes. what can we look forward to? Well, we're looking forward to uh, what we call a, a multi-programming uh, uh, strategy. IMG, quite frankly, coming on board brings in a new uh, dimension uh, because the kinds of artists and uh, performers that they handle range from the Bolshoi Ballet to Sting to Green Day uh, to Robert Redford. Uh, it's an incredible roster. Wow. And uh, so that adds a, a, an element. We could certainly approach those people, but if we have the relationship with IMG, particularly if they continue in a management way, mm -hmm. they become much more accessible to us. Then in addition to that, we will have Broadway uh, shows, the uh, wow. national tours of Broadway shows, tribute concerts, uh, wow. such as, uh, you know, the Beatles, oh, and, uh, <laughs> and also uh, what we call festival programming, which mm -hmm. would be ballet, modern dance, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, theater programming, and also educational programs, so it, which is where uh, we see the victory. This is an exciting piece of this project. We see the victory as a kind of maritime academy to train young people in our community in all the skills of the performing arts. And those skills have 110% employment. Wow. Those are not actors, right. not directors, right. not playwrights, not right. singers, dancers. It, uh, they're the cameramen the people who run box offices, the stage managers, the production managers, uh, the sound, light, all of that amazing team that if like an ant farm I were to lift the curtain up of the backstage, yeah. you'd see everybody yeah. doing that kind of work so that people can enjoy the show out front. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very so, exciting. There is so much, so much involved at the Victory Theater that is going to benefit our community in, yes. in such a great yes. way. Yes. That, uh, yes. I'm just so excited. I'm excited to be here with you and, and look forward to bringing it to fruition. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Don. It's a pleasure. Okay, Kevin Ross sitting with Don Sanders, everybody. Looking forward to the Victory Theater here in Holyoke.